I picked up this cute little coffin smoothing plane a while back and although it just about takes a shaving, there's a bit of damage here and there so I've been meaning to restore it. First thing we'll do is pop out the iron and then we can figure out how we're going to flatten the sole. So I have a slab of granite here in front of me, we're just going to put that down there, get our pencil and draw all along the sole of the plane, you can see I'm just scribbling it all in. Then I'm going to rub it into the sandpaper until all the pencil is gone and then we'll know that the sole is flat. Also, check out this yoke here. It's called a beam drill, and I picked it up for two of my milking stools. It's not working yet, but uh, it's a cool piece of kit, and stay tuned, we'll be restoring it soon enough. So now we have the sole flat, it's time to treat the body with a bit of linseed oil, so we're just gonna put a tiny little drop on it there. That might have been a bit too much. And we're just gonna rub it into the whole body. Just tap it from drying out and give it a nicer finish. Look at that. So the body's looking well, time to move on to the iron. So. Just a bit of WD-40, sponsor me please. And a bit of elbow grease to remove all the rust. We have the rust removed now, so next thing we need to do is bring it to the grinding stone. So we have it grinded down now, so we're gonna bring it onto the diamond stones, flatten the back of it, and when that's flat, we're gonna turn her over on this side and grind her to 30 degrees. Next up, we can just put a bit of strapping compound on our strap and just rub the iron into it. And that'll not only polish the edge, but more importantly, It'll remove the burr. Hey lads, it's happened again. We're after running out of hair on the right arm, but we still have plenty on the left. But not for long at the way this thing is sharpened. Lucy always gets a bit nervous when I start running out of hair, don't you, Luce? With the blade nice and sharp, there's not a thing left to do. Only put it all back together again. And for that, we have the help of our beautiful little pin hammer with its lovely new ash handle. So I have the legs of one of the stools here that could do with a bit of smoothing. So I'm just going to throw that fella into the vise. And we'll see if we can get a nice smooth and finish on it with this yoke. Here we go. So we have this thing taking the wispiest of shavings and leaving a lovely smooth finish in its path. For the sake of insecurity, I said I'd compare sizes. This is a standard size for a coffin smoother, and this is the fella we just restored. They're called coffin smoothers, not because they were used for smoothing coffins, but because they're kind of shaped like them. The more you know. So this fella is a real barbine, but a very satisfying tool nonetheless. Good luck. 